Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. I'm going to show you guys how to drive the Juke R2.0. So I'm going to show you the shift pattern for stage 4 and stage 5. Currently, I have the car set to stage 4 parts only with all the fusions. And it's at 1,393 EVO. That's huge. At stage 5, it gets more EVO. At stage 6, it gets even more. This car gets great respect points for winning live races, even at stage four parts only. All right, so at stage four and stage five, this car drives exactly the same. I've been playing with this for a couple days now, and I can't find a better shift pattern than this. Now, maybe once you start adding some stage six parts, this will change, but for right now, you're gonna hold down the gas until it's right before it launches. You wanna let go as close to launch as possible. Early shift in the second, hit your nitrous and try and get all good or perfect shifts after that. And every once in a while, I can hit dyno. Once or twice, I've actually beaten dyno by a teeny tiny bit. So, on stage four or stage five, this is how you're going to drive this car. Also, me and my buddy Shane just made a brand new crazy YouTube channel called Lightning and Shane and Lightning's Wacky World. We do comedy skits. I'll put a link to that in this video's description, so please go and check that out. I would definitely appreciate it if you would check out our new channel. So, let's get to driving this guy. Alright, so, three, two, one, let go. Second and nitrous, third. I let go of the gas at the wrong time, and I think I buried the needle. So, I don't expect to hit dyno this time. This car is actually really, really easy to drive as long as you get the launch right and you shift the first couple gears quick enough. That wasn't a great run. So I got a 13.3 on stage 4 parts only with that high of Evo. 13.3 is really not so bad. I think somebody was saying this runs like a 10 point something if you max it out completely. I'm not really sure on that one yet. Sorry about my green screen. I see it's like partially hanging down, so... Eh, that is what that is. I'm too lazy to get up and fix it. Three, two, one, go. Well, that was still not quite. The shifts were better, but I didn't quite get the start right. I'm still letting go a little bit too soon. On that rare occasion that I get the perfect start, I sometimes can either beat or hit my dyno time. There I got a 13.264, which is actually pretty good. We got a dyno time of 13.210, so I got pretty close to it that time. Now, if I were to change it over to the stage 5 parts, it would run exactly the same. It's just as hard to beat dyno time. I've tried all kinds of wacky and crazy shift patterns, different things with the nitrous. I've even tried to find some sort of wacky tuning to make this car beat dyno, but it doesn't really seem to. Now, some of the guys in my crew... They said they've been taking this thing into live racing on stage 4 or stage 5. And it's beating everybody, which I find is very hard to believe because these cars don't usually do well if they don't beat dyno time. But I guess they're winning races left and right with this thing on either stage 4 or stage 5 and all the fusion parts installed. Alright, let's give, that, give this one more go. 3, 2, 1. That was better. I'm trying to get all perfect starts, perfect shifts here. I know I missed a couple. Let's see what I run this time. I think that was a really good run. I think. I have a feeling I might have hit or beat Dino time on that one. Let's find out. That should be close. There I got a 13.240. That was a little better. 10. Very, very close to hitting Dino. Alright. Maybe once this car, just like the regular GTR... Before I maxed it out, it was very, very hard to beat Dino, but now that I've maxed my GTR R35 Premium out, it actually beats Dino time. So maybe this is the same way. Maybe you have to beat max it out before it's easy to hit or beat your Dino time. I'm not really sure, but again... Alright, everybody, please check out Shane and Lightning's Wacky World. That's my brand new YouTube channel. It's going to be some funny videos. Probably every Monday we'll make a new one. There it is, Shane and Lightning's Wacky World. All right, everybody go check that out. I'll put the link in the description. The one video was just me saying, hey, 
I'm not doing the movie reviews anymore. We've changed it to something else. And today our first comedy video went live. We'll try and put one up every single Monday and maybe even throw in another short comedy video sometime during the week. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please check out the channel. Hope this uh, helps and catch you guys later. See ya.